So start looking straight ahead, balance your body, allow your chest to be very uh, alert, lifted, slightly shift your back of the head, backward and lengthen it up, soften your uh, abdominal, also slightly send it back and still feel yourself tall. So it's not like, you know, you push it back and you become kind of blocked still. Side rib chest, waistline, everything gets taller. And breathe through the nose. When you think you reached your best posture, like good state of your head, of your body, take your hands in front of the chest, close your eyes. Breathe through the nose. Pressurize the hands slightly into each other to feel uh, the rotation of the shoulders still back. Try to feel your uh, shoulder blade area, like it down and forward. And still kind of grow tall, you know? So it's a very inner feeling. There is no hands to press. So you look uh, from within, from heavy leg, you go to And then exhale, bow your head, release your arms, raise your head gently, open your eyes. And we'll start with widening uh, low back, uh, preparing us for twist though. And the sitting will be first without the chair. Chair will follow. Guys, with the green bolsters, I'm not sure it will be good, but I will try myself and see how it goes. And then the blocks here. Actually, it's nice. It is compressing my belly, but um, also if you feel heavy in the neck, also you can have third block for the head. But I, I, might, uh, I need to be honest, if you have wide bolster, they will be best, I think. Uh, especially, Marika, for you, you're a small person. Yeah. Um, so if you start feeling too much like irritated by this bolster, uh okay because you do things at home i would say uh blanket yeah so bolts are probably not available you can roll a bit of uh, blanket for your belly and see what it does you can't at all push your belly down and see how muscles uh around sacrum and low back they're just happy you know they can we they don't need to do anything yes we it's really passive for there and there and once in a while it's important yes i'm a bit of a doer yes i like you doing stuff but uh yeah let's be honest it's nice when things are happening for us and yes stretching making stronger like it's also important but uh, softening uh, and relaxing as important. Press your hands and just breathe into your low back, into your sacrum. Okay, and then press your uh, buttock to the floor. Inhale, come up. And after, we will do similar thing, but with the hands on the chair. So it will be less uh, maybe intense here because you are higher. So you can lengthen your arms more. Uh, so in a way, it's nicer. Yeah, it's yours. Sorry. Yeah. And... Uh, 
Again, bolster for your belly uh, to spread the low back. And guys, maybe, let me see, head on the chair. Uh, would it work or not? Just a moment. Just start doing as it is, as you think, and maybe I will change it a bit. So we are here. Yeah, guys, look, uh, would be extra nice to do it like this, you see, with the head on the seat. Uh, Katya, if you have nothing to do such a thing, you can still uh, actually you can use even sofa yeah and then it's like something like this mm -hmm. nice and again it's about lengthening we can slide the chair a bit forward roll the upper arms inside out please so remember bicep is rolling up Tricep is rolling down, neck is free, head is quiet. Okay, inhale, come up. And if your knees are very tired, you can just come up for a moment and stretch them. And while you're doing this, I'll show you the next uh, plan. So we are, again, head is supported. You can even go on your um, temple. And now my elbow will uh, try to go to the floor, if not possible, maybe in the air. But you hold this leg. And your second arm is actually doing, you know, Parivrita Janu Shirshasana thing, or it can be a little bit reflecting to this. Yes, yeah? so the top arm is on the chair, trying to roll your elbow up. And again, the ball stays there, maybe a little bit annoying because the ribs are pressing into it, but it again doesn't allow you to do something bad for your low back. Yeah, so hand is uh, on the line. Yes, uh huh. Let's all turn to the right, girls. Let's all turn to the right. So left elbow down. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, hand is really to the center where your crown of the head is, if possible, and roll it up. Yes, 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 Nina, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Evelyn, nice. So if you can hold the chair and press the elbow, it's the best. Because then you can motivate your ribs on the bottom is going even lower. Yes, Marika, your head should rest. I think that's the problem. So try to bring a chair a bit closer. And you know what? I'm still thinking this bolster is not good for you. Let me see if a nice little blanket will be the best. And if you also feel a bit too much with this bolster, you can use a blanket like Marika. Mm -hmm. A bit closer. Yes, that's it. And now roll this elbow up. Roll these ribs back and bottom shoulder blade down. Mm -hmm. Abdomen rolling back, it, it's given. Exhale, come back out. Again, if your knees are exhausted, you can quickly help them. And then we go to the other side. So change which elbow is going to the floor. And other arm going up. Turn. Try to keep the breath going. Uh, obviously, it's not very uh, nice. Exhale, come back. Nice. Okay, let's get into down dog. No child pose, guys. I just want your knees to recover. So come forward. Uh, Keep the chair as it is. We need it in a moment, so don't take it down. Just go down, dog. Inner hands pressing. Inner arches lifting. 
outer heels pressing down, inner heels lengthening back. See that you don't shrink in your arches. Keep taking them higher, higher up. And lengthen them back. Yeah, if the legs really a bit struggling to open fully, keep them a bit bent, but let's activate them. Yes, we need the legs. Today, uh, the subject is a twist though, uh, but what can happen with weak legs? Nothing good can happen. Out and then walk forward and come out. Very gently come out. And when you come up, press the roots of the legs, barely coming up, yes? So uh, let's a little bit uh, rest. It still will be nice in terms of, uh, you know, uh, I, I hope it will be nice. Uh, for some people, maybe higher though, who have uh, uh, shorter hamstrings, uh, the chair uh, can be uh, having more support like bolsters one or two and look i don't have proper wall but imagine my radiator and uh, this is my wall so you bring your legs sl slightly slanting buttock is on the wall and you go forward and you rest so you see nothing in the arms nothing in the um, uh like spine relatively passive but legs are rock, rock solid yeah and it will be always same instruction today through quite few like poses like this. Try to roll your sitting bones more and more kind of forward. Like you want to take them away from the wall, slanting legs, uh, slanting, slanting, slanting. Yeah, put like here. So okay. then they are like this. Mm -hmm. Buttock on the wall. But the roots of the thighs back. So you see there is this opposite uh, motion that something goes forward, something else goes back. And today the conversation between, between the sitting bones and the roots of the thighs. So one more time, you want to kind of stop holding your sit bones at the wall, you move them forward. And the roots of the thighs, another way around, you want to press them back. Yes, yeah, so feel what it does. It, honestly can bring some change in your abdominal as well. Keep feeling the knees are not overstretching. So please press the toes and extend them forward. Roll the calf muscles forward. Feel the tall, steady knees. And again, sit bones kind of away from the wall. Roots of the thighs to the wall. And then inhale to come up and just rest and take a look. So having this all still the same, maybe Evelyn, you need a couple of time, uh, roll the blanket to make it a bit higher. I think bolster will be uh, maybe too much. So let's get us in the twist. So look, it's, it's a bit similar. You will be holding uh, the leg of the chair and uh, turning your left rib down and top arm up. My big, big question is if you start feeling this, yes? So please talk to me if you can kind of descend back. First of all, you can be a little bit higher and also try to then keep imagining you have something there, yeah? So let's start and you will uh, maybe understand my, uh, my problem with this uh with this twist but with any other twist yeah so you are having yourself again an uttanasana quite deep one because the chair is low and then you hold with the left arm uh, the leg making your left elbow heavy and right arm is again back on the seat uh, let me see if i feel better holding the 
lean. Ah, uh, actually, you know what, girls? I like also hand on the backrest on this handle. You can press it down and roll up. Maybe my arms are long, so I can do it. So please feel free to take it lower. But, mm -hmm. and now see, when we start twisting, A, your legs start kind of also shifting. So don't do it. Again, both sitting bones to the wall. Uh, sorry, away from the wall, roots of the thighs to the wall. Yeah, and my dear, my dear, dear Sylvia feels this feeling of the abdominal lift. Yeah, it's just because I know you tend to drop it a bit there. Yeah, well done. Mm -hmm. So feel abdomen still glued. The heels are down. <laughs> the heels are still down. Keep raising the knees and thighs. Let's try Vera maybe. Uh-huh, yes. And it's nice if the head is supported. So that's why I don't mind if you all get extra bolster. Turn. Just really make your elbow heavy here. Прям тяжелый локоть. Кстати, я люблю, когда он вот так чуть-чуть. Тогда ему есть куда идти вниз. And right ribs up. Don't give up on lifting the legs. Sit bones away from the wall. Roots of the thighs to the wall. Come back out. Uh, you can come up if it's too much. Just allow yourself to... You know, maybe you also tired to be slanting. This is also a bit of a challenge, yes? So people like me, we could push it back, not good. So feel that you don't do it, please. Feel this strong, calf muscle, toes resisting forward, yeah? Then it's good, not like this, you see it weak. Okay, other side, other side. I think you do great job. So if you still have questions, please talk to me. But I think you're all okay, so go down. Pick up your opposite uh, leg of the chair. Still keep your buttock at the wall. So sit bones away from the wall, both roots of the thighs to the wall. See, if you turn to the left, I think right leg becomes weak. So press it harder. Yeah, and now start turning. Start turning. Right ribs descending, left shoulder ascending. And people who have uh, Yamaraika, by the way, you're a bit like Sylvia. You need to have this guy up. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit changing and controlling his heart. Yeah, and now you're a bit higher. That's also can be because I raised your belly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, abdomen control, please. Abdomen control. Yes, yeah, Sylvia, still there, the abdomen control? Or I should come? Or I should come? Okay, come back. Very carefully with the strong legs. First come to a straight line and then come up. Okay, now we will make uh, the story a little bit about uh, having the legs more in a straight line. But again, it won't be as simple as it looks because you will need, <laughs> you need to control uh, the blocks with your legs. So, it will be like this, so roots of the thighs, two blocks. If you keep dropping them, girls, it's possible to have one, but it's a bit harder. But let's see if you can manage with two. And just a moment, I will. Let's just first have the movement down. Yeah, so you please have your legs straight perpendicular. <laughs> Again, you have to press those thighs back to the blocks without overstretching your knees. Let's just first be down. And then the second one, I don't even care that you are, um, you know, having the head maybe down. Oh, it would be nice if you are, though. I just don't have props. And now we try to, again, twist ourselves one more time. And you know what? Uh, no, I'm changing my mind. Don't take your head down. Actually, you know what? Let's try to do it like this. But shift your left arm to the line of this right leg. And then you turn. Yeah? And again, belly will go up. So first, just go down, girls. Yeah? Go down and teach your legs to be uh, rock solid. And having these blocks that you're afraid to drop is a great lesson. Adi, roots of the thighs, not the buttock. Lower a bit. Yeah. And keep pressing the roots of the thighs back and sit bones roll forward. 
you have to yes it's normal that they drop a bit because it's uh, not easy right away do it perfectly yeah they sometimes give up so press these roots of the thighs to the block but not the sit bones yes we are at least keep lifting your inner knees from the inner arches and keep your outer ankles firm uh-huh who dropped the block good no no it tells me that we are human beings you know uh how yeah no one is a robot. Yeah, if it's really keep dropping, maybe you need a half. Um, no, honestly, it tells us that the right leg is uh, misbehaving a bit. Uh, or, nah, but that's a bit of a cheating. Uh, I would say one, yeah? So then it's uh, easier to control. But then let's start twisting. And you feel free a little bit because, again, uh, <laughs> keep pressing. Uh, feel free to, you know, do it um, the way it works, yeah? So who can go lower, go lower. But if it doesn't go uh, easily lower, you are uh, where you are. Left arm tries to either hold the leg of the chair or to the floor, and right hand either on the seat, but legs are not changing. Abdomen rolling up. Turn, Marika, you are not turning. Yes. Yeah, you are preparing. It's okay. Okay, come back. Yes, Yanina, I see. Well done. I'm very proud of you, Yanina. Yes, it's not easy. Just rest for a moment. Maybe take those blocks for a second away. And there we go one more time. Blocks here. Yeah. Blocks here. And then we go down. First, just stay down, yeah? Let's do left side as uh, as right first. So you are just preparing your legs. Feel toes stretching, calf muscles rolling forward. Roots of the thighs going back to the block. Uh-huh. Legs are maybe tired, legs, be, be, uh, legs feeling overwhelmed, it's normal. And now we add the twist, yeah? By the way, some of you maybe still have slanting legs. So I think your legs are a bit slanting, Evelyn. Have your feet a little bit closer to the wall. So have it 90 degree, girls. You sometimes make it harder for yourself if the legs too far forward. Mm -hmm. Sit bone rolling forward and roots of the thighs going back. Abdomen feels gluing up sylvia marika please yeah especially people who have uh, a bit easier going abdomen you have to be specific there and come out very careful with strong legs don't rush okay let's go to one down dog just take your blocks sideways and just let's get back to symmetrical uh, pose. Press your inner hands into the floor and press yourself back. We have today quite a strong group. So we'll do something a bit on the crazy side, one thing. I like this to work. Okay, walk forward. And let's get into a few things. We will go to Prasarita Padutinasana. So first, just class it. And all of you will feel this lift. Yeah, try to not drop. Even people who are a bit more flexible, keep abdomen still lifting. So we will do this. The second attempt, we will... Uh, Try to play around with height. So you will go on those blocks and we will go lower, yeah? After that, I will show you the other stuff, yeah? 
So for now, just two prasaritas, one without blocks, the second with blocks. Keep those blocks uh, there so you don't have to spend too much time looking for them. So spread your legs. People like Evelyn, Yanina, you close to each other, girls. So Evelyn, if you shift there, you can shift more to the walls. Uh, then it will be nice. Okay, go forward. When you go forward, press the root of the legs and already here, feel the work of abdomen. Hands under the shoulders, look forward. Arch in the upper back and root your legs. Yeah, we've done quite a few openings. We've done some twists. Uh, here, it's similar to Uttanasana leg. Yeah, nothing is churning. So keep sending your uh, thigh bones, roots of the thigh bones back. Like there is a block there and the wall. And the sit bones forward. See, from sitting bones, you want to extend your spine. And then we are going down. If possible, go really all the way, hands next to your feet in line. And uh, for some people, I recommend to stay more like this, you know, not kind of charging your legs to the most yet. We will charge it by a bit later. So press the roots of the thighs, peel back, and seat bone still forward, and release your spine. And when you press your hands and you lift the shoulders, don't shrink in the flanks. Still distend your flanks, your side body down. Mm -hmm. If you can get the head supported, you can pick up a block, it will give you a bit of chill kind of effect. You don't have to, you know, like suffer. Um, you kind of a bit ease, yeah? When the head support, it gives ease. The head gets quiet and then you can kind of work extra uh, nice for the legs, for example. Uh -huh. Can you still do the work of the sitting bones, of the roots of the thighs? Aha, uh -huh, Sylvia, which side of the body hurts? Remind me the sacrum side, right or left? Both. Both. Just a quick observation. Mm -hmm. Your body lowers on the left, uh, on the right. So okay. it's like, uh, do you understand my movement? So this is lower than this. Okay. Press harder. Press harder to lift this leg higher. No, not necessarily, maybe, yeah, the distance could be wrong, it's true. But press the heel harder, outer foot harder, trying to raise his leg more. Yes, better, 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 better. Yeah, you obviously can't feel it because no. otherwise you would change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still there. Keep working. Okay. Take your hands forward. Release. And yeah, I think we need to come up, girls. Yeah. So from there, press the legs down. Come up. Don't jump. Just take your feet together. Quick um, kind of tip, don't take your blocks extra wide because uh, it will, like the height already makes you uh, extra challenged, let's say. You see my blocks are not, so again, hands down, climb on those blocks with your feet. Actually, have a, um, you need to maybe pick up two more blocks or you have a chair. Because now the floor is lower and some of you maybe won't be able to get the floor easily. Yeah, so we will be here. Now, girls, I'm okay if you flex from the hips and it's less of this rounding here, yes? Yeah? So I'm kind of pulling myself closer to the legs this time. Yeah, so it's different approach. So go down. Uh, actually, I recommend not to come up from up, so uh, Marika, go down and then climb on the blocks. Yeah, it's easier because it's sometimes even scary. I would say your distance is a bit too short though, but mm -hmm. a little bit, yeah. I think it's really kind of almost Uttanasana. Yeah, like this, yeah. And first, uh, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> I regret saying make it shorter. You are also too short. Yeah, get it a bit wider. Grab your ankles with your hands and pull yourself down from this firmness of the ankles. And now you can become kind of flatter in the back, less round, and go vertically down. Or even the feeling you go kind of almost back behind you. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Careful with the calf muscles, Mariki. Yes. Don't push them back. Again, roots of the thighs back. Calf muscles actually forward. And release the head and go down. Release the head and go down. Tell me, girls, is it scary or okay? Sometimes it can be scary, right? The floor is further away. You feel uh, not easy. The, the A9 problem. I know. Oh, good new game. <laughs> hey. But take it easy, Nicola. They are warmer than you. Okay, go forward. And come out. Don't come up from the legs. Climb from the blocks, people. Yeah? So you are on the block. Climb down. And only then you come up. Uh, Nicola, you can just do classic prasarita. Yeah, you can uh, maybe even do child pose a bit. But if you join us, don't go with these blocks. It's really... Uh, too quick so now i give you options guys because i feel like if this is already worth challenging get rid of these blocks yeah like kick them off and do the next thing without them but if you want kind of challenge and the body kind of likes this uh, stuff you can stay on the blocks and maybe it will be useful to have a, a belt and now uh I will show you what I mean. It will be this twist. I do do it with you sometimes. And we will go to this leg. So uh, right leg, left arm, and then you want to go through this window, yeah? And another idea to try to grab this. So it can flex and then you extend. For some of you, maybe this is not needed. So you can try to hold, still keep this elbow, and then still turn. Yeah, parivrita, upavistukanasana, but upside down. So, kick off these blocks if you find it difficult enough. Yeah, Marika, maybe, I don't know actually, try with, do you want with blocks? No, uh, it's uh, if it's your first ever time doing this, then go because uh, it's uh, it's uh, there are mistakes here anyway in this post. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People will turn the wrong way. So let's let go together. You go to which side? I told you. <laughs> so place the belt over your right foot. Place the belt over your right foot. Go towards your right leg and grab this belt with your left arm. And make window between your left arm and right leg. Yeah. And now deep, bring your head in and try to pick up your left leg. And if it's not working, yes, I mean, try whatever is possible. Yeah. Just, yeah, I like how you managed it. Yeah. Perfect. You make it even bigger. So, you know, yeah. Yes, exactly. So you can kind of still open up here. Yes. Yeah, perfect. And people, your one sit bone, uh, I think it will be most of us, right one is dropping. So press this leg harder, raise this leg higher. Uh, no, Nicol, just go forward. Just wake, wake up uh, your body, just go forward. Mm -hmm. You have to dig in and turn there. Give me this arm, yes. Exhale, come back out. If you need to climb from the blocks, no rush. Come up for a moment and uh, get ready to change the side. So for the second side, we have to apply the belt over your left uh, ankle, shin. And we are going with the right hand to the left uh, foot. Oh, you did the other side, okay. Make a window, please make a window and see that your neck is free. A mistake is when the neck is uh, really uh, restricted by the arm. Then I like to bend my legs because then I want to really reach better my other leg. And then I'm turning. And I'm not shifting my hips. I'm balancing my legs. Breathe, turn. Uh-huh, yes. Honestly, in some circumstances, sorry, I'm stealing this. 
it's nice to have two belts and sometimes you don't do it, you know even which one to, you need more front or back and then dry 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 without dropping left hip oh marika you should try to look up even more yes good exhale come back out And then I need you to go one more time, Prasarita again. Keep blocks, not blocks, up to you. Just go one more time. After all this craziness, the normal Prasarita feels so good. But remember, we chose today two simple things to do. The sit bone conversation and the roots of the thighs conversation. It's still there. Roots of the thigh going back. But state bones go forward. Mm -hmm. And then come up, take your hands forward, and then come up. Nice. Take your feet together. And I want a little bit of groin opener. So, uh, Oli. You feel free to use maybe the wall, uh, maybe the chair, so you kind of still face us. So look, for people who are stiffer in the groins, my recommendation bolster. But look, I want us after a certain time to go forward. And I know that for my uh, body, it's actually, you see, okay. So it depends on your status of hips, yeah? So. Let me maybe quickly see you. If you a bit stuck, then you definitely on the bolster. And if you didn't stuck, we can we can go lower. So first, 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 let's have hands maybe next to the hips. And guys, please check that your bolster is even. I felt my right hip was higher. And people who have ankle pain issues. Maybe you cut, you could apply a little blanket. Because when the feet are, ankles are in pain, the hip will not let go. Yeah, that's the, oh, so nice. So press the feet now into each other. Press the heels into each other. Feel how these guys get in longer from the inner groin to the inner knee. But from the outer knee back to the hip and like there is a kind of hug, the wall that pushes this construction forward. Feel lift of the pubic plate of the abdominal wall. Roll the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Now, so look, if I stay like this and try to go forward, you see I'm kind of, my buttock is flying up. So that's a problem. So first of all, I'm getting my feet forward and I'm climbing from my height. And then I'm holding my ankles and pressing still the heels into each other or go forward but here it's really depending on your body girls yeah you can do go lower definitely yeah marika just go forward and press the feet into each other press your arms into the inner legs lengthen yourself forward lengthen yourself forward feel this inner groin like really lengthening mm -hmm. uh -huh, not easy but actually good Mm -hmm. and then inhale to come up again let's come back to the bolsters if it's there help your legs to come up and stretch them so now we'll use again the chair for helping those groins to open people if you feel like you have some feedback for me, uh, please tell me, yeah? Because I, uh, I like this stuff, but maybe you don't. So look, again, if it's hard to sit on the floor, please keep yourself on a, yes, yes, Nicola, there is extra chair. Uh, and actually, Nicola, pick up mine. It's a, it's a bit, uh, yours is uh, too big. Mm -hmm. So, um, please keep sitting on height. Yeah? That's what I 
one state. Keep sitting on height. If it helps your low back to, uh, you know, feel uh, lifted. Yeah, you see, if you get this bolster skill. What I'm going to do, I have my foot. Can you see my foot? Somewhere here. And I will keep getting this to me. So you see, it's kind of exaggerated, but her kanasana. Yeah? Let's try. So press the hands into this chair. You can even press the elbows into the chair and elevate your flanks. These poses are quite good in terms of power in the chest. Yeah? So we're not like lost in here. So, you know, like a bit of chi is a partner work. And keep pushing this foot to roll this groin inside out. Lift yourself up. If it's too easy, take the chair closer. Yeah, if it's really like joke feeling, yeah, nice. Yeah, but you can drop the knee a bit lower, girls. It's a Bhakakanasana leg. It's not Marichasana, it's Bhakakanasana. So drop this knee if possible. And the foot maybe a bit higher, Marika. Yeah, not here, but a bit higher. Mm -hmm. Exhale, change the leg. You can come a bit back. Take the right leg forward. And then again, hop. By the way, did you pay attention? The foot is out. The foot is not straight. The foot is out to help this groin to rotate. And then again, hands up, powerful. And pull yourself out of this uh, hip that now opens up in a slow, slow manner. Try to drop the knee, but the bone of this uh, bent leg is still running forward, yeah? You don't want like the leg to cut off and stand back. No, the state bone, one more time, try to feel it. The bone of this leg is still forward. Oh, forward while the knee yes, is rolling down and back. And press the elbows to elevate yourself up. Exhale, let go. Take your legs down, watch. Uh, and we'll try to do that. So this foot is here. You know, we have the pose like this. So it's a preparation. But again, let's challenge ourselves. Can you sit closer? Can you lift yourself up? Yeah. So now the foot is here. Bring it closer. And how, uh, Nicola, to the edge. Yeah. So there is still metal bar to your foot. And lift yourself up again. Pull this chair down like you want to climb. I don't know, because I did a mud walk like you're climbing from the mud. Press down, pull yourself out. Oh, you're coming out of the swimming pool. Oh. And state bone is still forward of the leg that works now in this half Bhadhakanasana, half Akarna Dhanurasana. Oh, exhale. Gently come back out. Again, feel free to climb a bit back, take the leg in, go back in. And then this leg is here. Again, foot is out. Everyone is doable, yeah, ladies? You can all find yourself doing it, yeah? No kind of stuck feeling, yeah. Yeah, I think you're all good, yeah. If you think you want more, bring the chair closer, yeah. Yes, and press the chair down, Vera, and pull yourself up. Yes, that's it. You, you're coming out of the swimming pool. Take it easy, Nicola, you're a bit uh, less uh, warm than us. Yeah. What a nice bark. Here and here, straight backs, girls, well done. Because the moment when the head goes over the head, uh, the foot, sorry, goes over the head, we get rounder. So. Get this uh, good sensation of lift. Exhale, come back. And da 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 da. <laughs> we are going, you know, it was kind of Bhadhakanasana, Akarna, yet yeah, this kind of leg. But when this leg, Padmasana, it's more of this. So let's first again trying to just lift ourselves upright, right, left. 
And the second attempt, trying to go under, will be harder. But let's see how it goes. Uh, again, feel free to sit higher if you find impossible to lift yourself up. And this is more Padmasana feeling, girls. Yeah, do you feel it? It's this rotation. It's this future leg. Uh -huh. On the edge, Marika, on the edge. Sorry, girls, you didn't see it. On the edge. Uh huh. And that's why blanket is nice. Uh, all. Uh, 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 no, on the edge. You press into it. Ah, uh, still annoying, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know it's not your favorite. That's for sure. And press the hands down. Lift yourself up again. In a good way or in a bad way? No, I think it's it's a good way then. It's just working because of the hand work, no? Lift yourself up, lift yourself up. Yeah, exhale, come down. Um, when you let go, is it still there? Mm. No, look, honestly, I almost never hear uh, a bad upper back pain. You know, if it's just the muscles moving in, then it's just them unusually working, you know? um let's see if it's like for example comes back to you tell me okay left foot on the chair padmasana prep honestly we do sometimes this stuff remember like uh previous se sequencing it's the same but i like it more because you have this chair that will not let you down yeah lift yourself up roll the sitting bone Woo! forward Roll the sitting bone forward. Blanket is there to, you know, help you to not get too stressed because of the metal pressing into the flesh. See it bone forward. Oh. I feel my hip. Do you feel your hip, Evelyn? You don't feel hip. Really? You also don't feel hip. That's interesting. You see, we are so different. I feel more like everything getting here. Oh. Oh, exhale. Let go, let go, let go. Careful, careful, careful. It's interesting. So from here, you feel your upper back. Yeah, it is working. Okay. Let's try to dive under the leg. It's extra like star task so if it doesn't work if you feel you're really falling with a horrible back you can repeat previous pose yeah i think maybe you want to be a little bit further away yeah give yourself a space and then try you can even start if it's possible do i have these people to start with the leg maybe over no nah, no it's harder to miss then not missing the chair and then try to stay down yeah still in the middle i think you'll be too far bring the chair a bit closer or bring yourself close again okay right foot try to climb with your shoulder under the knee hold the chair lips and the head is under arm inside arm uh, right one yeah pick up your legs of the chin oh, no, it's okay whenever things are completely in you I think a bit maybe closer yeah and then try to dig under that's it oh yeah if it's too much come out girls but this connection is important for us as well for future asanas okay come out stretch the leg and then other side Surprisingly, in the next uh, few asanas we're going to do will be easier than this one. Yeah, it's just uh, I'm using this as a opener. Yeah, as an opener for Janu Shirshasana, simple pose. So go under and try to crawl under. If it's not possible, stay upright. Yanina is doing upright. It's fine by me. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, it's okay. This one is great. So just take it. Yeah. And come out. Ooh, stretch your legs. And let's just shift the chair maybe a bit away. For Janu Shirshasana. Uh, well, if you feel like doing you pavisa, you you okay with that too? Um, you know what? I don't. I do. So look, quick, quick setup. N much, much nicer to sit on a kind of corner. Why? Because if I, for example, let's start with right leg. My right leg. Yeah, should become Badha Kanasana. You see, it's kind of climbing a bit up. It will be much easier if this sit bone is lower than this sit bone. So that's why you see, I'm just tucking this leg on a bit of height, but this one not. Another trick, so look, my idea today, that can we just be sure that we are capable to press this leg down? Chill with this foot and turn, 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 and then go, you know, final jano. Um, we'll see how you how it goes. Maybe I will, uh, you know, make uh, it more complicated. So let's start all together first with just setup of this uh, jano shirshasana. So left leg extended. I'm not mirroring anyone. Uh, your right leg uh, badha. And if you still find yourself like this, Actually, yeah, maybe add you a little bit, yeah? Maybe um, second blanket, because bolster is way too high. So look, try to press this Abadha Kanasana leg with your hand and turn yourself from right to left. You want, you see, this is my uh, belly button. I want it to face here. I want it to face here, and I want still my abdomen to go up and back. I want it to go up and back, and then hold your shin and start turning towards your leg. First, like this, maybe belt if the leg is far away, the left hand is already there. You press it a little bit, you lifted yourself up, and after keeping this abdomen is like this, yeah, and this hand is helping you to turn. No, it still here can be, and maybe on the bolster for help. But turn yourself from this heavy leg. Yes, perfect. Oh. Yeah, from this seat bone, from this back, but a leg is still heavy. Yes, nice work. Good. Отлично, Вера. Но не вижу вот здесь движение. Вытягивайся, поднимайся. Еще. Попробуй вот это поднимешь. Press your arm harder. If I see bulky ribs, I want you to work harder. Yes, Nicola, I see the movement. Well done. Тоже чувствуешь, Вер? Как бы я пришла, да? Вот это... Go to the foot, people, if you can. Go to the foot. Keep your arm first uh, next to you. But head is reaching forward, Evelyn. Don't become shrinky. Yes. Still go to me, not down, but to me. Oh, yes. Ah, okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sit higher if it's ribs. Uh, and then hold with a second foot and do classic pose. Go forward. So the final pose is this. So no pressure anymore from these arms. You have to work kind of the same way when the hands embracing your foot. Mm -hmm. It's hard to pose. Maybe a uh, pick up. A, no, actually, you can do it. No, pick up a belt. Pick up a belt and pull yourself up, and just work like that. Not you know, like that. Yeah, lift up. Exhale. Come out. Help your legs to come together. Stretch them in front of you. You know what? I remember when I just started teaching, this pose was 
almost like impossible to give because like so many issues, the needs up, da, da, da. You know, like I'm super grateful we are doing it because, you know, sometimes uh, you don't want to give something that's so kind of, you know, people are disappointed in, in how the body reacts. So I think we do great. That's what I want to say. Let's uh, get our other leg. So yes, if you are sitting like this, right leg stays, left leg bends. Please also people, uh, maybe watch how I'm bending my leg. I'm not just, mm. yeah, I'm doing it with a soft sensation here, soft sensation here. Then the foot is soft. And then a little bit helping my right sit bone to be higher, but left leg is lower. Try to do what I do first. Yeah, so this remains heavy. Abdomen already turns. Abdomen already going back. Food is happy. I feel stretch in the low back. I, I feel movement in the abdomen. Whoa. And then I grab my shin. And then I turn. But mistake is to go down and let your head hang. Head is five kilo. It's very, it's a lot for the back. So reach forward. Don't drop your head. Don't drop your head. See if you can make the both legs super heavy and turn from this heavy uh, bend knee. Mm -hmm. And then go to the foot. So if you're going to do the full pose, go to the foot with a hand, maybe belt. And still turn with support of the arm. And then hold the foot with two hands. And final Janu Shirshasana. So the problem is that left ribs are bulky, right ribs are sinky. So opposite, left ribs down, right ribs up. Uh, abdomen turns. From the low back, pull your spine forward from this heavy bent leg. And then pressing the legs down to the floor, inhale, come up and just stretch your legs. Um, just a little one uh, to see how we feel with Padmasana legs. So sorry for people who don't do it, uh, like it's difficult, but I want to see where we are today so let's start again with right you you keep sitting on a bit of height actually some of you maybe even bolster uh you get your right leg first so janu shirshasana mm -hmm. so we'll just maybe play around yeah so try to get this a uh, little bit of rotation anyway and now we grab the foot grab the foot and try to bring it to your other hip if it's not hurting too much the knee, try to get this leg to the floor. Uh -huh. It hurts the ankle. Then, uh, Evelyn, stay a bit longer with your hands. Stay a bit longer with your hand under the ankle. So look, the mistake would be to have ankle, you know, pumping out. So support it with your hand. Support it with your hand. Extend the inner heel. Yeah. Better. Better, better. So you see, you see almost no wrinkles here. That means this foot is happy. The moment, oh, you see it hurts. Uh, he'll come out. And then the second leg. Do I have people who does full padmasana? Both legs. No one? Okay. We'll check, we'll check, we'll check today. Yeah, exactly. We didn't try. It's true. We don't try often these things. So prepare your Janu Shirshasana. Have this easy, happy food as much as you can. And then pick it up. Yeah, Marika, good. Same problem as Evelyn has. When outer ankle comes out too much, it hurts the ankle. So try to keep ankle in, in a heel long. So something more like that, rather than like that. Yeah, so long here. Big toe mound long. And maybe you see I'm keeping my hand there to not allow this ankle to give up on sucking up. It will take some time. I just just don't go with the ease. Yep. 
then definitely broken ankle in a few weeks. Yeah. Okay, release. And it's still a bit tricky, honestly. There is a lot of issue with this. Your foot should be soft, your knee should be soft, your hip should be soft, and then it still maybe <laughs> won't work. But so look, how we want to try Padmasana. I would suggest have a head a bit of higher. Uh, so you know you don't have to always use the abdominal wall. And then we will try. Again, same thing. For people who are really far away from this ceiling, you girls can be doing this. Yeah, this is great pose as a preparation. But look, if all okay, prepare one leg and then start looking if your other leg is somewhere nearby. Yeah. I'm not asking you to bring the legs down. That would be also quite nice. Actually, if you're really good at it, you can. But I'm not pushing for that. Okay, so stay higher. Which leg we start? Right. Right, yes. So have your hand inside the knee. So make your leg. Actually, girls, try to a bit now pay attention to what I'm doing. So look, I'm not twisting my knee. I just have a virasana, a vajrasana even leg. You see, thigh, shin is in one line. And only then I keep this construction, I bring it on my groin. Because if they are far away, shin inside, that's what leads sometimes to pain. And then raise your left leg and see if you can hold it or pick it up with uh, two hands. And if it's far away, just be a little bit closer or whatever is possible. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's okay, people who are far away. I'm I I I is not kind of concerned at all. It's hard pose. Uh huh. Vera disappeared. You thought that that's horrible pose. Uh, that's very nice. That's very nice. Take your knees down, Sylvia, if you can now. Yeah. Yeah. Lying still on your back. Yeah, but careful. It's abdominal pose. Yeah, it's a low back pose, abdominal. You see. Keep the low back on the floor. And come back out. Release. Trying is as important as doing, yes? Yeah? So no worries if you didn't feel successful in here. Left uh, leg, yes? Yeah? So soft knee, soft shin side. Be Vajrasana. People, let's try this Vajrasana. And then only, so the knee is not twisted, you get this foot on the groin. And ankle is uh, in, please, Evelyn Marika. Yeah, so already here, ankle is not betraying you. And then try to raise your other leg and try to find this person. Yay! Yeah, that's okay. At least you see what is healthy for. Uh, the leg that's fine, yeah? So you can kind of still help the other leg to get this happening, yeah? I also were, all, I was always better on the left, and then it happened. Отлично. просто, да, потихонечку тянем. И хотим, конечно, да, перенести. Okay. Honestly, for you, I would be very careful with this exercise, yeah. Yeah, I know, but everyone, because it's so restrained, you are getting to the low back, so you have to roll it in, yeah? So it's not about touching the floor, it's about understanding how hard it is. And release the legs. And tell me, how do you feel in the low back? All good or a bit tired? Huh? Good? Tired, tired, Evelyn. Okay. No, no, I understand, honestly. Janu Shashasana uh, forward extension, so it's not that kind of simple. Pick up a belt <clears throat> and just have it on both feet. We can even, honestly, I don't like this bolster. You can take your head on the floor because green bolsters are very big. If you have flatter bolsters, you can use it. 
And just here, I want, uh, you know, I use this as a recovery for low back and recovery for the knees. But guess what? You can still do the roots of the thighs back, sit bones to the crown of the head. So still here. Still here, you're not allowed to overstretch your knees. You have to roll your calf muscles forward. Drop the shoulders. Yeah, so feel a responsible uh, upper body. And take your shoulder blades up. So I'm not kind of asking you to press the low back to the floor, but it kind of goes there, yeah? Because uh, we have um, quite good firmness arms, legs, uh, you know, there is this belt. So abdominal doesn't need to work hard to keep the legs straight. You can even close your eyes a bit. Okay, let's keep this uh, feeling in abdominal yeah, as much as possible. Uh, we'll do one leg stretch at a time. So you take your left leg on the floor and you uh, keep your right leg vertically up. So it obviously changed, yeah? But you still want to keep this um, wideness for the low back as much as you can. How to achieve that? First of all, make your left leg heavy and also stand the root of your right thigh more back. And don't allow your abdomen to lift uh, without like control, yeah? So you keep still descending there. Arms are still, uh, you know, Backbend arms, yeah. So the arms are in the shoulder socket, shoulder blades a little bit coming up. No, probably I'm confusing no backbends. I'm just wanted you awareness there, yeah. So don't become just whatever. Then start pulling this leg closer to you. You can shift the belt more towards the metatarsal. You can widen your elbows and start moving the leg closer, closer to you. Back knee, especially outer knee, is very wide. Exhale, bring the leg back inside the belt. So we have two feet again together. Feel this uh, good sensation around your abdomen, around your whole back. And then extend your right leg. Press, we are more the bottom leg. Yes, the heel and again, the root of the thigh. And now start pulling the leg closer to you, going kind of Hanumanasana, but nothing changes in your knees, nothing changes in the back leg. You can close your eyes to bring you, you know, total relaxation, but of course, don't fly away with your thoughts. And then come back. Let's uh, roll to the right side. And maybe again, using the chair um, or the floor, honestly, I do like the chair. Um, uh, Swastikasana chair. Something like this. So the feet are uh, the interlock.
So try to be uh, long in the low back, but I'm okay that it's a bit higher than maybe what you normally do. So you can uh, still extend the back. Yes, Marika, nice one. And Shavasana will follow. Uh, Evelyn, feel better in the low back? Yes, good. Those two things, they are normally the best. And then come up, change the crossing, and go down again. Up and uh, stretch your legs and then go to Shavasana. Did you, did you notice, by the way, that we have a lovely uh, uh, autumn this year, like very yellow, like super beautiful. Sometimes it gets brown quicker. So, so lie down on your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lie down on your back. Relax yourself fully. Uh, chair still can be used, especially low back is a bit mm, complaining. So um, you can do also what Sylvia likes to do. Yeah, maybe I'll do this too now. So feel your legs release. Even. Yourself, yeah, yeah, it takes uh, some time to adjust, yeah. So let go of yourself completely, feel yourself heavy, released. Become heavy in your arms and legs.
just try to get the exhalations more into the picture. Let me follow them and you make them a bit more special, more visible. 